Oh, welcome everyone, and thank you for joining us for our first online conference on Seals and the People of Britain. My name is Paul Drury. I'm president of the Society of Antiquaries. We'll be so for the next few weeks till the anniversary meeting. Before we begin, although I'm sure many of you are fellows of the Society, I'd just like, like to say a few words um, about us. We were founded in 1707 and awarded a royal charter by George III in 1751, charged with the encouragement, advancement and furtherance of the study and knowledge of the antiquities and history of this and other countries. At the same time, we were given rooms in, Berlin, in uh, Somerset House that allowed us to house and care for a growing library and museum collection. In 1874, we moved to our purpose-built apartments in New Burlington House. I can't let the occasion pass without mentioning that until 2005, we held those apartments rent-free from government. But as some of you will by now be aware um, from our public um, campaign, that with the other learned societies around the courtyard, we now hold under leases at rents below market rate, but subject to annual review. The dramatic escalation of those rents in recent years means that unless we can negotiate um, a sustainable long-term basis of occupation, we will soon be forced to leave Burlington House and indeed leave central London. But our origins mean that we began collecting actually before the foundation of the British Museum, and we've continued collecting ever since. So we have important antiquarian holdings in many fields, not least seals, matrices, seals detached, seals still on documents and casts as well as, of course, manuscripts, prints, drawings, and books acquired over three centuries of our existence. And I've been conscious as president that we've not been as swift as many similar organizations in making our collections more accessible and available online. So they're not always as well known um, as they should be. So I'm very pleased to say that our own new catalogue of manuscripts, archives and collections will be launched online shortly, providing, I hope, a springboard for increasing our digital content online. You can see a preview of what is to come through our collection highlights pages on our website. Today, the Society is focused on fellowship and the conservation, research, and dissemination of our work. As a registered charity, we are committed to sharing our collections and our work with the public. Our range extends to public lectures and events, exhibitions, scholarly research seminars, and uh, publications. Since June last year, in response to the ongoing pandemic, we have moved our program entirely online and have seen a huge increase in attendance um, with hundreds of people joining us for all our lectures and events and people from all over the world. Today we're joined, um, according to the bookings, by um, uh, three, 300 people compared with a maximum of 100, which can be seated in our lecture room in Burlington House. We have some other exciting events coming up through the rest of 2021, including a two-day conference on drowned landscapes and doggerland, a seminar on contested heritage and intertwined legacies, and an early careers conference in the autumn on revisiting late medieval and early modern British history. I think those few events give you some idea of the scope um, 
of the society's interest in the study of the past through its material remains. Now, I personally am looking forward to the resumption of face-to-face -face meetings, as I'm sure many of you are. But to sustain this wider level of engagement, we will offer participation in all our future events online, as well as when we're allowed to in person. Now, today's conference has been organized by our fellows, Dr. Elizabeth New, FSA, and John Cherry, FSA. Our first paper is by Elizabeth New on Seals and the People of Britain, a survey of past work and present questions. Elizabeth is a medievalist based at Aberystwyth University and currently is chair of Sigalum. She has a long-standing interest in the seals and sealing practices of medieval Britain with a particular focus on seal usage in non-aristocratic society. Elizabeth worked on the AHRC Seals in Medieval Wales project, was co-investigator for the AHRC Imprint project, and currently is using scenographic evidence as a principal source for her Levy and Trust major research fellowship, identity, interaction and exchange in medieval England. Before I hand over the screen to Elizabeth, I'd just like to say, if anyone would like to ask a question, um, please type it in the chat function um, on Zoom and I'll put the questions at the end of the lecture. Please try to hold your questions until um, near the end of the lecture so that I don't get lots of questions that the lecturer subsequently um, answers. So, Elizabeth, the screen is yours. 